Um, we recently had a correspondence slash conversation about um, Walleyes for Tomorrow and what we are and what we have become. Uh, Walleyes for Tomorrow is a totally volunteer organization. We have no paid employees. Uh, we pay for everything we do. We don't go out and get grants. We have fundraising activities and we are well funded. We're well supported by the people of the state of Wisconsin. And we always feel mostly it's because of what we do, not what we say, because we have done projects throughout the state from Lake Geneva to Presque Isle to um, up in Barron County. And one of, the com one of the comments that was made was that Wallace for Tomorrow has become a bunch of bureaucrats. Well, let me tell you, I don't know many bureaucrats that will stand on the bow of the boat when it's 40 degrees out and pull wet nets that are, that are at least that cold out and dip spawning walleyes, take them back to shore and handle cold, mucus covered walleyes just to strip eggs, put the eggs in the hatchery, and then maintain these hatcheries for the next 20 days. We do things, and it really rubbed me the wrong way to have people think that all we are is a bunch of people that sit around and raise money and don't do anything. Our guys that run our hatcheries, when I put on a training session about running a hatchery, I tell them, if you're not committed to 40 days, of work, forget it. We don't even want you to be part of our organization. We don't want you to be part of our process. So um, we do raise a lot of money and we spend a lot of money. I mean, our projects, you know, when you start bringing in quad axle dump trucks and high hose and that sort of thing, we pay going rate. We don't get a break. These guys are in business to make a living and it costs money to do these kinds of things. Um, some of the people that are espousing this are people that are bent out of shape because of our refusal to use, let them use um, our boats for spawning, uh, or not for spawning, but for tournaments. We've talked about that in, in, a, in another session, but uh, the problem is that they're using insider information to be able to twist it to say that, that we've become a, a, an insignificant organization. We. We are very significant and we do talk to, to those people that have influence on what happens within the fishing world as far as management goes. So um, you might, if you want to have a conversation about this, call me.